what does it actually mean to be insane? <laughs> what do you think I got an octopus bank? Sane! One one! You even describe other things as insane. Und heute war hat nur eine Frage. Wie viele kostet diesen Karte? Ein Club? Zwei Club? What do you think I got an octopus bank? What's up, big boys, and welcome to the 91 rated player Leroy moments, Zane. Leroy Zane. That's right, the guy who was left out of the 2016, uh, sorry, the 2018 World Cup lineup uh, for Germany. One which I think was a huge mistake by Yogi Love. And if Luke was able to pull it off, we've got Yogi Love picking his nose on the thumbnail, which I think is peak. It, 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 uh, eh, eh. Okay, first off, calm down, <laughs> relax. <laughs> It's only a virtual card. What do you think he's a human being? Today, boys, we are looking at the second player moments non-expiry version. That means that alongside that player moments, uh, Eden Hazard, who's gonna be uh, who's gonna be an SBC for the remainder of FIFA 20, we also have this Leroy Sane joining him alongside him. He goes for about 550, 600,000 coins, so it's pretty damn steep. It's four SBCs. We were able to get it done within about 20 or 25 minutes. We overspent a little bit, of course. You know how we do. Uh, but the main thing is here to showcase how he plays for you, uh, and obviously he is one of the, uh, he represents the new wave of German national team players, obviously a player that's near and dear to my heart. We've got the new German national team kit on with Kai Havertz on the back at a hint at who we're going to be starting in the squad alongside him. Uh, but today we are going to find out if this card, which has a 195 total in-game stat upgrade over his 86 rated card. He doesn't have an inform or any special card this year. Um, and we're going to see if he might actually uh, be worth the near 550, 600,000 coins. Now, I tackle these non expiry SPCs a little bit differently because there is no time limit, right? It's like not like Player of the Month where you have 28 days or one of these Flash SPCs worth three or six days. It is literally the entire duration of FIFA 20. So this is definitely a card that someone can grind towards. Whether or not the 560, 500, 600,000 coins might be a little bit expensive given that we do have so many wingers especially left mids in the premier league even raheem sterling has himself that 86 uh sorry that 89 rated card uh should be noted however that this 91 leroy zane is much better than that card which does go for about 200,000 coins on the xbox we obviously have um We've got Mane among a bunch of others. If you consider that the player of the month Mane SBC went for a million coins and is also 91 rated, it makes this an interesting little, uh, makes this one a little bit, uh, makes this an interesting proposition to do. Might might actually even go so far as to say it might be, uh, might be a discount. Now, three-star weak foot is obviously the glaring deficiency. That's the one thing we're zoning in on right there. Has the four-star skill moves, uh, high, medium work rates. But before we go any further, like I always say, boys, if these episodes help you in some way, shape, or form, drop a mad lad like on the video. We are nearing 1 million subscribers on YouTube so uh, I think I have to either swim with sharks or dye my hair like Billie Eilish uh, for that for that milestone but if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below like I said drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys do enjoy um, and let's dive right into the main stat so attributes 99 sprint speed 96 acceleration a lot of people are complaining about the fact that it says 99 pace it's a combination I think it weighs sprint speed more as a multiplier or something like that that's why it shows 99 so 99 sprint speed 96 acceleration we're not going to bother jacking off the acceleration already mad enough attacking positioning goes up to 97 with this uh, with the sniper cam his finishing goes up to 99 shot power 95 uh volleys penalties uh the penalties meh volleys obviously 93 so you don't want this guy stepping up to the plate for you with pens by the way if we do take a pen i i'm curious do the pen show up as 78 or would they show up as 93 because of the sniper chem style well, it might be an interesting way to test out if uh if chem style register or chem styles uh, at least visually register in game. Passing stats look very, very good. 91 crossing, 90 vision, 90 free kick accuracy, and 88 short passing. Almost feel like this could be, almost has the look of a player that could play as a cam. Almost feel like he'd be better suited as a, uh, as a central player, given that he has the weak foot and it makes it a little bit easier to line his shot up that way. Uh, dribbling stats, 92 agility. Balance goes up to 90 with the sniper cam style. 95 ball control, 99 dribbling, and then 90 composure with 88 stamina. So, for all intents and purposes, the only thing that this card is missing, legitimately, the only thing that this card is missing is the weak foot. Also, German links in the Bundesliga on the RTG. You guys know that's a very, very important thing to me. And uh, speaking of German players, we've got him linked up with Bastian Schweinsteiger. We've got him linked up with Timo Werner, who should, if Sofifa's 85 rating of Timo Werner holds, should get himself a plus two upgrade. So the 87 player of the month should turn into an 89. And then if you guys did that 89, it should turn into a 91. Let's get into a couple matches here. Let's see if he is worth it. And then we're going to rip the packs at the end of the FEC if those packs were worth it. Uh, and then give him that valuation. Match number one. Los Gates. Paid 
550,000 coins for you, dude. Imagine rolling off the lot with a Lamborghini. And the guy says that this thing does 0 to 60 in 2.5. And it ends, up, it ends up taking like 8 seconds. Cheese activate. Oh, I, I, I was hoping that the squad was gonna gel a little bit more quickly, but it's our first match of the game, so I suppose. I mean, I suppose there's that. But um, yeah, dude, with a 91 Leroy Zane, I'm looking for I'm looking for some blowout wins, boys. <laughs> Got an octopus bank? Hey, I got an octopus bank? He goes for goal this time and scores! Come on! Just like that! Bro, I can't lose to these guys! I cannot lose to these guys, man. You know what? I, okay, so I think I think it's got to be Leroy Sané as a lone striker. It's got to be Leroy Sané as a lone striker up top. The team didn't play well, but Leroy Sané had a pretty good individual campaign. We got ourselves two goals with him. I think maybe we run the 4-2-3-1. Fake shot, and then an absolute rip. Third to six. <laughs> Come on, boys. Hey, that send in from uh, that send in from uh, from Leroy was really really nice. Literally touched Alexis Sanchez on uh, on his chest. Um, very reminiscent of the Cordoba send in that we had the other that we had the other day. So already off to a nice little start here with the four two three one. The cam interacts. There we go. It's gonna be game. At least that should be game. Lira Sane showing what he's got in the air. He doesn't miss. You get him in a scoring opportunity, the guy doesn't miss. And again, it helps to have him centrally located because again, the weak foot can be an option, obviously. We've had a few players that have come out. Bernardo Silva, uh, Hakim Ziyech. Um, where there's ways to get through it. And the way, to, the, the, way to, the way to counter the disadvantage of a weak foot is to play a player centrally. So it's easier to line up that shot. And, you know, usually I do. Usually I tell you guys I like having a two-striker formation. Hey, there we go, Kai. <laughs> there we go, Kai. There we go, 4-1. That should be it. And I think he's getting out of here. Mammoth Russell, hey, good game, my man. Think I got an octopus bank? Emotional about this one is this guy's actually really good. Got a goal, and like I know that he wants, he's gonna respond, and I feel like 
See what I mean? How is that not in? How is that not in? Okay. You know, I actually wanted to check this though. What does it show him for pens? Leroy Sané? 93! Huh, okay, so it, it does show up. I love this game! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 550, 600,000 coins, is he worth that? We showcased the skillage, we showcased his ability to finish inside the box. Um, And uh, what do we get, 9.0? We get two goals for Leroy Sané, obviously he scored one, and then he scored a uh, the equalizing pen there towards the end, and we gotta give... <laughs> Hey, man of the match, two assists, and man of the match to Schweini. It could only have been Bastian Schweinsteiger as man of the match. Let's go open our packs. Let's go talk about what we think about the card. Okay, so you get some decent packs back. You get a mega pack. You get a couple of those Electrum player packs back. Um, and I believe they are all tradable as well. Uh, border, border walkout in this one. Hey, hold on a second. Wait, what? Center back? Okay, hey, you want to know what? We submitted a Godin. We submitted a Godin into our uh, into the SPC, so we get a freaking 88 uh, Marcelo Godin back, and um, that almost makes me want to give it a <laughs> massive, massive thumbs up. An 88 Godin, so that's going to be big. That uh, that takes a little bit of the sting off. These are going to be here essentially forever. Okay, another border walkout. A hey, walkout blue, but that means it could be anything. Argentina. What? I love this <laughs> game. <laughs> 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 You're gonna have to remind me who we who we are doing an epi on because I almost just literally had a diary in my pants. I'm gonna give it a different rating. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up in terms of hey, another walkout! 88 Godin, don't tell me it's Neuer. Kimmy! Yo, we get ourselves Joshua Kimmy, we get an 86 UCL uh UCL Di Maria, we get an 88 Godin, and now a walkout 86 Joshua Kimmy. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up in terms of value. I like the format of this entire thing. Hey, that is four board walkouts. That is four boards or walkouts in a row. That's going to be an informed board. And it is going to be Cedric Amissi, the best silver player, uh, the best silver card in FIFA history, and a 76 inform Amissi. So, technically, it is at least a board in every one of those packs. We're not going to let that factor into the pack luck. We get an 84 Illicic. For me, in terms of on-the-pitch performance, I am going to give it a I am going to have to give it a 3.5 out of 5 uh, in terms of on-the-pitch performance. He provided some assists. He's an electric player. I would say, bros, if you guys are looking for a left mid or a left winger in the, uh, in the Premier League, that would be... Um, Comparative to this card, and you would get a five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, it would be that 89 Youngman Sun, so I'd say go ahead and try him out. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, there was no loan version of this uh, of this uh, Leroy Zane card, which was very, very strange to me. But hopefully this episode yeah, has helped you in some way, shape, or form. Yes, it, it's, a, it's a nuts card. He feels really, really fast, but there just seems to be like there's just a little bit something missing. It's the weak foot. Um, maybe, it's, maybe it's the fact that he's got the three-star weak foot, or maybe it's that he has that hazard thing where he feels like he gets depossessed a little bit too much. But... Um, or maybe it was just that I was a little bit too giddy and I was trying to do a little bit too much with this card because I am so excited about this Leroy Zane card. But uh, that is going to do it for the episode, you boys. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Choose later. Adeo.